Good afternoon, everyone. It is the Exploring Yeti here at Disneyland. That's right, we have made our return. Uh, this is in the middle of all the Cancun business here. <laughs> we're still, uh, I'm still editing all that footage. So we are here today at Disneyland to do a challenge. And my challenge today is to see if I can ride all the rides in Fantasyland at the last two hours of the day. So this is my challenge. Uh, my wife and I, we call it the Fantasyland Speed Run. So we're going to go through and ride all those rides. But we're only going to do it the last two hours of the day. So the park today closes, I believe, at 11. So we're going to head over there at about uh, 9 o'clock. And then we're going to see if we can get through all the rides in Fantasyland in two hours. All right. So that's, that's quite a few rides. Hopefully, it'll be cleared out by the time we go over there. And it'll uh, the wait times will be down pretty low. Right now the wait times are like 40 minutes for like Peter Pan, uh, 35 for uh, Alice in Wonderland and whatnot. So we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait until the park clears out a little bit. Then we're gonna head over there and do that challenge. I think for right now, what I'm gonna do is head down to the monorail, take the monorail all the way into Tomorrowland because I haven't ridden the monorail in forever. And now that the monorail is open, we're going to go down there. We're going to hop on and just take it all into the, uh, the heart of Disney over here. All right. So let's head down downtown Disney and take the monorail in. Maybe we'll do some shopping. I don't know. Hmm. Monorail. All right. So let's head on out. Check out the stores. Ride the monorail in. And again, if you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe to Exploring Yeti here. All right, let's do this. Let's head down. <laughs> busy in here. I'm looking for a button-up shirt to replace this and see if I can go in with just a little more uh, Mickey in my veins today. I love this shirt, but see if we can find something that's a little more appropriate for the day. Ooh, fuzzy. What do you think? I think my wife would like that. I'll have to ask her next week. There we go. Found what I was looking for. Some button-up shirts. Uh, I've been tempted to buy this Hey Hey shirt, but it doesn't look like they're going to have my size over here. But this is what I've been eyeing over in Adventureland. Every time I walk over there, I see this shirt, and I'm like, I, I should I should buy that, right? Morris like, yeah, buy it. And I'm like, ah, I won't buy it. So, hmm. Maybe. I do like this one as well. Hmm, I do have this uh, monorail shirt, and then this is uh, 101 Dalmatians, huh? That's pretty cool. I don't know, decisions, decisions, guys. What should I get? I'm thinking a Hey Hey shirt. We're gonna check in Adventureland for this guy. Oh look, they have a Hey Hey t-shirt back there. See that guy? I wonder where that one's at. That's not a long sleeve, is it? Is it this one? Oh, it is. So, this is actually a long sleeve. It says, oh, hey, hey. That's pretty cool. I dig that. All right, where are we gonna pass for today? Ooh, fuzzy. And as we're approaching Halloween, they do have a lot of Haunted Mansion merchandise out. Uh, Halloween's just like a week away, a little over a week away. But check out this shirt. That's kind of cool. Awesome. Found something else, guys. Look at this Oogie Boogie button up. It's kind of cool. But I think I'm on a mission to get that Hey Hey shirt today. <laughs> and if you're big fans of Star Wars like we are in our family, you can love this corner. Oh. That's kind of cool sweatshirt. This one here, long sleeve. Nice. They got a lot of Star Wars merchandise here, but I'm not in the hunt for that today. I do like this backpack. I think we have this one. 
Wow, check this out. That's a really cool print there. Hmm. Tempting. It's a hoodie. Alright. That's an awesome hat, guys. You know who I think might like this? Hmm. Thinking someone who lives in Germany right now. If you're watching this and you know who you are, let me know. Send me a message on Instagram. I think you might like that. All right, it's very crowded in here. I'm starting to get uh, a little warm. Also, I'm very hungry. I haven't eaten anything all day. So let's head out of here. Let's get on the monorail and then take the monorail into Disneyland. And then we'll putz around Disneyland. See if I can find that shirt in extra large. Okay, okay, guys. So I know I said I was leaving, but look at this Soul Cat <laughs> little mug. This thing's awesome. <laughs> Uh, I love it. Love the color too. It's pretty cool. Hmm. Okay, we get, we gotta go. We gotta go. All right, back outside. Should I go eat something, guys, before I head into Disneyland, or should I just head on in there? I don't know. It's busy. Usually, it's it's. I mean, it's dinner time, so everything's gonna be a long wait to find something to eat. Maybe we'll just maybe we'll just get something in Disneyland. Yeah. I think that's what we'll do. All right, down to the monorail. Let's do it. friends so it is interesting to note that the monorail does close I guess at 7 so if you want to ride the monorail in or out of the uh, the park you have to be in line at 7 p.m. to ride the monorail so but that news I'm sharing it with you guys and you guys only it's a secret we are in Disney I'm over here by Matterhorn I do hear my favorite Yeti calling Harold but we're not gonna visit Harold today We'll visit him another day. Uh, my back is feeling fine. I want to keep it that way today. Instead, I think we're going to head over to... I, I'm, I'm, I need that shirt. Let's go over to Adventureland. Let's go see if we can find that shirt in my size. And um, continue on our day. That's... Yeah, let's do that. Sounds like a good idea, right? Now, we are in Adventureland. It's going to be a test of willpower not to buy up every button up shirt I see right now because I see some pretty cool options this guy here that one's looking pretty cool I do like this one. Oh, this one would have been nice for Hawaii what do you guys think I think so but we're on the hunt one shirt it's nice oh look at that that would have been cool for both Cancun or Hawaii yeah yeah that's not the one we're looking for check out this one and it actually has a pretty cool mickey print in there i don't know if you guys can see that but again not our shirt and here they are do you see an extra large guys i don't see an extra large i think large is as big as we're gonna get here it's just not in my size I search for the shirt that we're looking for it's gonna be a fail today they do have that that dress that my wife likes I'm not gonna buy it unless I talk to her first but she's a big fan of this dress here I like this dress too I like the cut and the look of it it's very cool let me just say that if you're here at Disney and you're not sure on buying something, but it's there, and it's in your size, 
just buy it anyway because I've been looking for that shirt and I, now that I want the shirt, it's not my size, so I can't purchase a shirt today. Uh, you know, let's go over to Galaxy's Edge, see if there's anything over there that I might want to purchase today. For Rise of Resistance, as opposed to out in Orlando, which they're not doing boarding groups. Um, hopefully one day soon, Disney will stop doing boarding groups and we can just do standby all the way. That would be nice, right? Maybe even a single rider line for Rise of Resistance. Here's hoping. Disney, please listen to our prayers. A nice single rider line will be amazing for this ride. All right, let's continue on through Batu. You know, I think it's time to eat something. Let's go, uh, let's go find some food. Maybe we'll go over to Red Rose Tavern. Haven't been over there in ages and see if, uh, see what kind of food they have over there. All right, everyone. So I'm over here at the Red Rose Tavern. I just opted for a, uh, a burger with some fries and I want to try the gray stuff. It's delicious. And then also a drink. Um, with the AP annual pass, I have the drink key. So it's 15% off. So it's about roughly almost $25 for all of this here. Not horrible, not great, but eh, let's eat. Jeez, walk inside to get something to eat, come back out, and there's no need for sunglasses. The sun went down quick. Man, I love those fall times, huh? All right, well, we're over here in Fantasyland. I'm not going to start the challenge yet. At 9 p.m., that's when I'm going to enter the queue for the first ride of the challenge. Uh, I'm thinking I should go with the biggest wait times first and then work my way down to the smaller ones. Or should I go opposite? Should I go smaller and then to the bigger wait times? I don't know. But I get to ride Dumbo today. I haven't rode Dumbo in forever. Let's, let's wander around a little bit. Let's get, let's get a game plan. Seems like a good idea. Let's go do Star Tours. All right, hopping in line for Star Tours. It is only a 10 minute wait right now. And so that's what we're gonna do first. That'll be our very first ride of the day. Attention, all arriving passengers requiring currency conversion are invited to visit the mutilated. Keep it moving, humans, and try to act less suspicious. Right, today, we're going to be in gate C as in Chewbacca, gate C as in Chewbacca. Keep all masks on, you may not put on your flight glasses, and today's flight is sponsored by Wookiee Cookies. They're soft and chewy. Uh, <laughs> this is the speeder we're looking for, last up. Star Tours. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That's not bad. What do you guys think? I don't know. It's not the Hey Hey shirt, right? Question is, can I live with or without it? I think I can live without it. Also, they don't have my size. What do you guys think of that t-shirt from my lovely wife? I think she'd like that though. Looks comfy. Well, that's the problem is I'm way too picky when it comes to uh, buying stuff for myself. Where to next, guys? Let's check some wait times, see where we're at. Last time I checked, Autopia was only like a 10 minute wait. So maybe we'll head over to Autopia and we'll check that out. At this time, looks like uh, Autopia is only a five minute wait uh we can go over there we're over here by 
Space Mountain, that's a 70 minute wait. Star Tours was a 10 minute. Buzz Astro Blasters is a 15 minute wait. So, maybe we'll do some Autopia, guys. So we have about an hour and 45 minutes until we start the challenge. Question is, what should we go do next? I was gonna go ride Roger Rabbit. It was a 10 minute wait when I got in line for Autopia. Autopia was not a five minute wait. That was more like a, uh, I, I'm gonna say a 15 to 20 minute wait. Um, Cause right when you cross over the bridge, it just went to a dead halt. Smuggler's Run is a 40 minute wait. Splash Mountain is a 10 minute wait. Uh, Haunted Mansion 70, Indiana Jones is down, and Pirates is a 35 minute wait, hey Jungle Cruise, that's a 15 minute wait, I haven't been on Jungle Cruise in forever, maybe we'll go do Jungle Cruise, I'm not sure what to do here guys, I wonder if I can get a reservation for Olga's, you know, it's never a bad time to go drink in Disney, <laughs> uh, let's Let's head, let's head to the hub. Let's check the wait times over at the hub. If uh, if Jungle Cruise is still a 15 minute wait, we'll go do Jungle Cruise. Look past the butterflies here on the log, up a little bit farther back. See them up there in the back? Two cans. Yeah, it's really weird because last night, that was a six-pack. <laughs> <laughs> on the left side there, very exciting. That is an Indo-Chinese tiger. Apparently, though, it's outdoors. <laughs> it's way zebra to sleep, surrounded by lions, laying down with their neck bent, eyes <laughs> wide open. Yeah, I've been told uh, over and over that a monkey could do my job. <laughs> but uh, those are apes. <laughs> Way smarter. I have to admit though, it is pretty uh, chimp and easy. <laughs> well, up here it is, uh, the eighth wonder of the world. The backside of water. Alright! Woo! O2H. There you go. Oh, looks like those monkeys are trying to break a record. Uh, that monkey's not making a nickel. He does it for the exposure. <laughs> there you go. Alright. That was the world famous Jungle Cruise. I think that was about a 15 minute wait or so, not bad. It is uh, almost eight o'clock, so we got about an hour until uh, we start our challenge. So, 
I think we're gonna do one, maybe two more rides and then head over to Fantasyland. I wanna be in Fantasyland like about five to 10 minutes before we start our challenge, just so I can kind of get a game plan on how I should tackle all the rides. So let's, uh, you know what? Let's go on Pirates. Yeah, probably a 30 minute wait. Let's do that. They can't be complete unless you go on Pirates. So let's head over there. All right, I'm gonna try one more time, see if they have an extra large in that Hey Hey shirt. I don't see an extra large, sadly. <sighs> Maybe I should ask someone. Hey, we can ask. I think we're gonna purchase. It's, it's a large. I'm going to try it on when I get home, and if it doesn't fit, I'm just going to save it and bring it back up next week to try to exchange it or return it, right? That should be, that's a good idea. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Now, should I go grab that Jungle Cruise shirt over there as well, or should I wait till next week to grab that one? I uh, think I should go grab it, huh? maybe all right purchased my shirt uh i want to try it on when i get home if it fits i want to keep it if it doesn't fit it's going back up here to disney i spoke to the cast member she said that a lot of stuff is uh stuck because of shipping so uh she's like it's in the middle of the ocean i was like fair enough all right uh as you may or may not know at this time a lot of uh, merchandise and a lot of goods and materials are stuck outside the port of los angeles so it's taken a long time for them to get um, all the merchandise and all necessary goods. Let's head on over and ride Pirates. Arr. Pirates is now a 35 minute wait. It is about eight o'clock. Hopefully I should be able to get into Fantasyland and I'll just wait over there until it's time to start the challenge. But for right now, let's go loot some booty on Pirates. Woo! We're inside. Can you smell the salty air of pirates? Not a complete day unless you ride pirates, right? All right, I'm ready. We probably won't get wet in Good. have to go into pieces of eight when you're done with pirates right shop around last time i was here i was eyeballing this button up shirt it is cool it's appropriate for halloween as well but i did just buy a button up today maybe next time i come up i might buy it my wife might like that my wife is a huge ursula fan what we're gonna do now is head over to Fantasyland. land gonna wait until nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, we're gonna hit our first queue and start our challenge at that time. We're giving ourselves two hours, two hours to complete all the rides in Fantasyland. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it today, guys. It's very busy. I just got word from a cast member that they're gonna open the rides back up at 9.30. So I'm gonna start uh, probably over yonder, if not Dumbo, and start getting those rides done, and then head back over here and finish up with this part of Fantasyland. Oh boy, okay, all right. We can do this, we can do this, y'all. We can do this. What's going on with this lantern? This lantern right here, straight up party mode. Party, party, All right, so let's check some wait times. Survey says, okay, the longest wait right now is gonna be Alice in Wonderland at 35 minutes. Small Road is 5. Storybook Canal Boats is 15. Mad Tea Party is 15. Dumbo is 5. Wow, never seen Dumbo at 5. Casey Jr. is at 10. Everything else is closed. 
I know Peter. once Peter Pan reopens up, it's going to be busy. And if I can get into Peter Pan right when they reopen it up, that, that's going to save me a lot of time. So I want to stay near there. I think, I think at 9 o'clock I should get in line for uh, Alice in Wonderland. And then from Alice in Wonderland, work my way kind of towards Peter Pan. So Alice in Wonderland, maybe, maybe tea party if I have time. And then once they open up Peter Pan, hit up Peter Pan, get that done. I, I think that's the plan. So I have 10 more minutes until I can wait in line and start the challenge. Till then, I am going to have a seat, I think, and and wait. I should probably get near the queue, huh? Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to move closer to uh, Alice in Wonderland. Nine o'clock. Okay. Okay. Here we go. All right. Let's do this. Hype us up. Hype us up. Hype us up. Hype us up. Yeah. 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 Ooh, bubbles. A word that Alice is closed as well. That was supposed to be the longest wait. Let me see if I can sneak in line. Nope. Alice is closed. The queue is all cleared out. Okay. So, looking back at the app right now, Dumbo's usually a very long wait. We're going to do that first. I'm at the queue for the first attraction I'm going to ride, which is going to be Dumbo. It's a 10 minute wait. I have three minutes until I can officially start, start the attraction. It is a 10 minute wait right now. So, we're going to wait. Three more minutes, then we're gonna hop in line, then we're gonna complete this challenge, you guys. I'm gonna do it today. Nine o'clock, all right, let's start this challenge. All the fantasy land rides in two hours. Dumbo's first, but we're, we're gonna get this done. We're, we're gonna complete this, you guys. We're gonna do it. All right, we got a sign. 16, it's still nine o'clock. We're waiting for this one to uh, finish up and then we're going to load on to Dumbo. It was a 10 minute posted wait. Can you guys see zero? So fireworks are going to start very soon. Awesome. So uh, maybe I'll be riding when the fireworks start. That's cool, right? Back to our challenge. Focus up, focus up. Oh, hey -o. Fireworks time. All right, you guys, two hours. We got to complete this challenge. sorts of uh, ordinance on me that was 12 minutes so it is 9 12 we we're supposed to be on the ride we weren't unfortunately that's okay uh, we're gonna make up for this time somehow I think I think I can make this work I can make it work we're gonna complete this challenge you guys Hey, look, it's my favorite color, green. All right, so it's been a little bit since I have ridden Dumbo. Woo! Yay! All the way down, woo! Yeah, bottom out. Up, whoop, hey, hey, wah, All right, here we go, back up. All the way up. Express elevator to the top! Woo! Yeah. See you soon. Okay. That's that. Alright guys, so this is the wait right now to get over to Peter Pan. I think I should just get it done now and out of the way. And then make my way back out and go to like Casey Jr's. Uh... Or... Yeah. We'll see. We're, we're going to wait another few minutes and check it out. All right. So the line for Fantasyland opened up at 930. We're over here. We're trying to get into the line uh, so we can finish up with our challenge. Hour and a half left. I don't know if we're going to do it, guys. So we got Peter Pan and this line is filling up real quick. 
when they open up that line, just be prepared. It is a rush to get over here to Peter Pan. I wanted to get it done first so I can move on from Peter Pan. And I don't have to wait in this long line later. But this line is already packed. It's a ton of people in here. People are just pushing. Look, just continue to be kind, everyone. Just be kind and be courteous to one another. I'm, I'm serious because this was very unorganized. A lot of people pushing past you and whatnot. Anyway, let's get on, let's ride. Let's enjoy the rest of our evening here at Disneyland and complete this challenge. We still got uh, a little under an hour and a half to complete it. All the rides in Fantasyland. We're gonna get it done today, guys. Peter Pan just went down. We are super close to the entrance to the ride. It is 10 o'clock. We have one hour until the park closes. I don't think we're going to get this challenge done today. All right. It is 10.04. The park closes in about 55 minutes. Here's what we can do. We can wait in line and see if the ride will come back up. But there is no guarantee that it'll come back up in time. Um, Oh, they might be ready to go in a minute. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna hold on. Okay, let's. There's one one engineer, one maintenance gentleman. He's actually on the ride. I guess he's. I don't know what he's gonna do. He's gonna ride it, maybe. I don't know. But we're gonna we're gonna wait. All right, here we go. That took way longer than what than expected. The line for Peter Pan has gone down as well. Uh, I think we're gonna have to do this challenge another time, another day, during the week, and do the complete Fantasyland speed run. But tonight, tonight was just a fail altogether. Didn't do the challenge. Um, Let's ride one or two more rides, and then from there, we're just going to uh, head home after that. All right. All right, so our last ride tonight is, I think maybe our last ride, it's gonna be Alice. I haven't rode this ride in quite a while. And you know what, I really like this ride. So, let's ride, you guys. Oh, no, that way. Okay. I mean... Always the drop. So I'd like to thank this bit. We're paving the horses road. And many... All right, everyone, uh, oh, we got four minutes. Should we ride Matterhorn? I think so. Let's do it. Please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened. That is, that's the day there. It is now 11.06, still have to take the shuttle back over to the Toy Story parking lot. Let's let's walk out. They're going to do the walk of shame here and hold our head low because we have failed this challenge. And not like by a little bit, like the single rider day, but we really, really failed this challenge, you guys. Plan another day where we might be able to complete this challenge. That's going to do it for us today. As I said, we had completely, completely failed this challenge today. Out of the run, we managed to get four rides out of Fantasyland. Start off with Dumbo. Then we went on to Peter Pan. Peter Pan broke down. 
and we went on to Alice, and then we rode uh, the Matterhorn, which I'd say that's that's part of uh, Fantasyland. So, out of all the rides that are in Fantasyland, we only got four rides done in that challenge out of two hours, the last two hours of the day. So I think what we learned is that if there are fireworks going on or any kind of event or it's like uh, Christmas or Halloween or a uh, special kind of theming, we probably shouldn't do this challenge <laughs> at all. We're going to make up for today and we're going to make up for the last challenge which I failed, the single rider challenge because I missed Star Tours on that challenge. I don't know if you guys remember, I missed Star Tours. So what we're going to do. Uh, beginning of the year, we're going to try to do both challenges again, and I think we're going to complete them next after the beginning of the year when crowds kind of die down a little bit and you know there's more uh, reservations available. But with that said, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe to the Exploring Yeti, and drop a nice comment or two. But for now, have a good night, be kind, and be safe. Thanks for watching everyone, take care.